Today sees the outcome of the Shaping Health for Midcare Stephen Public Consultation, which ran from November last year till February this year. The governing body of South West Clinical Commissioning Group met this morning uh, to consider all the responses from the public consultation, along with the petition from SOS Grantham. SOS Grantham have asked us a number of things, um, why we can't have a fully led consultant maternity unit, an acute stroke unit, and emergency surgery at Grantham. They fear that our plans will put the welfare of people at risk. In answer to this, we would refute the claim that we are going to put lives at risk. We, the GPs in Grantham, care passionately about our hospital and we want the best care for our patients. In relation to the maternity services, the Royal College of Obstetricians would not sanction a standalone service at Grantham as it is just too small to assure high quality. And the Royal College of Midwives have supported our plans to relocate the midwifery-led birthing unit because yeah. there is insufficient demand for an obstetric unit at Grantham. Local mums will continue to benefit from antenatal and postnatal services along with her, the home delivery service from our local midwives and there will be no change to these services. Well, in relation to acute stroke care, we know from research that most people's lives are saved by specialists, stroke centres like those in Nottingham and Lincoln. Grantham Hospital will still play an important role in stroke care by providing recovery and rehabilitation. The loss of emergency surgery, as SOS Grantham have suggested, is incorrect. The hospital does not provide this service as emergency surgery is carried out at larger hospitals where they have the right facilities to do it. There are no plans to downgrade a &E. In fact, we are strengthening the a &E services in that we're bringing together the best of hospital consultant care and GP-led care in the out-of-hours service. Urgent care for children at Grantham will increase from five to seven days. This will mean that fewer children will travel to larger hospitals with the introduction of two new children's bays. It's quite important to stress that smaller hospitals can't do everything and that complex and more specialist services need to be carried out in larger hospitals in order to ensure that patients receive high quality care and safe services. We also need to take into account other factors, including the size of the local population, the healthcare needs of the population, the advances in technology and medicine, research, and of course clinical evidence. I'd like to assure the public and SOS Grantham that Grantham Hospital is open for business and will be for a long time to come.